So I had preheated my oven to 350 because we are going to bake our cauliflower in the oven. So my next step is da 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 da. I am going to grease grease my glass casserole here. Oops, we have so many little mishaps. I have too many things in my kitchen, ladies and gentlemen. And today I have bananas and flamingos and and zebras, but it's all festive, it's all fun, right? That's why we tune into pandemic cooking, because it's festive and fun, and it makes us think about good things, I suppose what's happening in our world right now. So, here comes the cauliflower, spooning it out into the casserole dish. All right, and then I am going to make a little crust on it using breadcrumbs, garlic salt, and last but not least, nutmeg. If you forgive me, I'm just gonna use my fingers to take out a runaway leaf. I hate when that happens. You know, sometimes you just never know you're cooking and a leaf or a, a piece of a trunk of a lettuce, I guess that's what you call it, no, the core of a lettuce or something that the vegetable used when it was growing in the ground. You know, think about how vegetables grow in the ground, right? They have roots and they go down really deep and there's like a nice little core. But you don't want that in your food, do you? No, you don't. Even though there's tons and tons and tons of vitamins in those cores, but they don't look very pleasing when you put them in your dish. So we don't want that here on pandemic cooking. Okay, so I've arranged it nicely in the pan. And now, your favorite part because look who's back it's mr mixer i know everybody loves mr mixer listen i am so betty crocker when i pull this thing out so now we're going to take three eggs crack them open and beat them here we go or am i supposed to put them over here one two three I know if you're watching your cholesterol, this is not great. I have like three yolks in there, but you know what? It'll taste really good when it's done. So I have my three egg yolks. Next up, I have milk, and I want you to notice I bought organic milk. That's right, these cows don't have hormones in them. That's right, you have to be very careful about the stuff that they put in our food these days. <laughs> Believe me, every time you turn around, there's another GMO floating in the stratosphere. So this is organic milk, and I like whole milk. I don't like non-fat milk, I'll tell you why. It's just too watery. I know a lot of people nowadays are having oat milk or almond milk, and me, quite frankly, never quite developed a taste for that. You know, don't judge me. Don't judge me on that. You know, those of you who like it, it's fine. But I like, oops, I like a good, thick amount of milk. And this beautiful cup, this beautiful cup that I have right here was gifted to me by my amazing friend Casey. A lot of you know her. She's on my Facebook page. She's actually a professional chef. And she I think she cringes sometimes when she watches what I do. But I want to give her a shout out and a thank you. She gave me this beautiful cup for my birthday with beautiful tea. So thank you, Casey. Keep cooking, and I know you pray for me. With every episode, you pray for me. I'll get it someday, I promise. Okay.